everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing a big beauty shopping haul and this is finally everything that I bought during Black Friday but all my parcels took so long to get here but now I've finally got everything I can share with you everything that I've bought. So if you want to see what I've been buying makeup wise and beauty wise then keep watching. So the first place that I went to was Cult Beauty and I only bought two things from there. The first one that I got was this blush brush from Morphe and this is from the rose gold collection it's got the rose gold metal there and this is the morphe r4 brush and i really liked the look of this one because it's a little bit smaller and more angled as well so it's going to be a little bit more precise and i haven't got a brush like this yet so i'm looking forward to trying that one and the next thing that i picked up from cult beauty is this and it's the jouet Wangwe lip topper in the shade skinny dip and everybody has been going crazy about this so i had to pick it up the only thing is I didn't realise that it had got coconut oil in and I'm actually a little bit allergic to coconut which I probably should have read the ingredients, it's my own fault but we'll just have to see how it goes. So this is what it looks like and I'll try and get some close ups for you as well, it's such a pretty shade and I'm not really a gloss person but this doesn't really feel like a gloss so I think it'll be quite comfortable to wear, I'll have to try it out on my hands and things and just see if it irritates my skin but hopefully it won't and hopefully I'll be able to get some good wear out of this one. So the next place I headed to was ASOS and I picked up a few things from there. The two first things that I got were from NYX and I picked up these two glitters. I wanted some new glitters so I could do more Christmassy looks and I don't have that many so I've seen a lot of people using the NYX ones so I had to try them. I got a more coppery one and a gold one. I'm not sure of the names because they're not written on them but it's oh, always dropping something. They are in the shades 04 which is the more coppery one and then 05 is the gold one. So I'm going to be using these in a couple of tutorials next week so you'll soon see how I get along with them. So I needed a new concealer and I picked up this one which is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer which I haven't tried yet but everybody always raves on about it so of course I've got to give it a go. I didn't know whether to pick up the shade Custard or Vanilla but in the end I went for Custard because I didn't want to highlight highlight too much, I just wanted one only slightly more lighter than my foundation so I picked up Custard instead. Plus I already have the Urban Decay Naked Concealer in quite a light shade as well so if I need to highlight I can just use that one. And I know a lot of people have been comparing them to concealers, so we'll see which one I like best. <laughs> and then last from ASOS as well, I picked up the Glitter Glue from NYX, just so I can use it with them glitters and see how it works. And I have tried the Too Faced one, but this one wasn't as expensive, so I thought I'd try this one out and see how it works with the NYX glitters as well. Okay, moving on now to Debenhams, I picked up two things from there. The first one that I picked up was the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation and I've been needing a new foundation because I'm running out of all of mine and I thought I'd try this because I've never used anything like it before and I've seen this on YouTube quite a bit as well and it looks really really nice. I picked up the shade Y245 which is more yellow undertone like me. I think this will match my skin really nice once I've fake tanned which is why I bought it because I bought some new tan as well which I'm not going to share in this video because I bought it a few weeks ago. Um, so yeah I think this will be really really nice with that. I'm hoping that it's quite good coverage because I wanted something a bit more full coverage which it seems to be when I look at people wearing it so yeah, we'll see how I get along with that. The last thing that I picked up from Debenhams was this bronzer from Urban Decay and this is the beached bronzer and it's in the shade bronze. I think it's the darkest one but I'm not sure and it looks like this, it's just in a little compact. I always use a Max Give Me Sun which I really like but I think it's a little bit too red for me and I wanted a dark bronzer but I didn't want it too red which this one doesn't seem to be that red in tone so we'll see how I get along with this but it looks really nice doesn't really smell of anything but I really like the colour of the shade so I'm looking forward to using this one. I didn't actually realise how much I bought until I got this box out because I've just sort of collected it all, put it in a box ready for this video and then now I'm taking it out I realised maybe I went a little bit overboard but never mind. So the next place that I went to was Beauty Bay and it's one of my favourite websites to shop from. The first thing that I picked up is this blush from Milani and it's in the shade Luminoso and I've heard so much about this as well I really wanted to try it out. I don't actually own that many blushes to be honest so I thought I'd treat myself to this one and I did use it in my Victoria's Secret tutorial which I'll leave down in the description bar below. It's so so pigmented I couldn't believe how pigmented it was when I first tried it. I put a little bit too much on 
Um, you only need like to dab your brush in this and that is it. There is a little bit of fallout which I don't mind to be honest. But yeah, you only need to be really careful with this because it is really, really pigmented, which for the price, I thought was really, really nice. So I'll definitely pick up a few more shades of these ones. I also picked up this baked bronzer from Milani as well, and this is in the shade Glow. It's number four. And this also comes in the same sort of compact as the blushes, but it's just bigger. Oh, and this is what it looks like. It's got, it opens there and it's got a little brush inside and a mirror which the blushes have as well, which I think is really nice. And this is more of a sheer illuminating bronzer, which I thought would be really nice for every day, but I don't want to really wear a lot of bronzer and a lot of highlight at the same time. I can just apply this over the cheeks and around the forehead and it'll bronze and highlight at the same time. I have used this a couple of times already and I really, really like it. So this is gonna definitely be one of my go-to everyday makeup products because it is on the more of the sheer side and it does give that really nice glow as well. I also picked up two more brushes from Morphe. The first one that I picked up was this G28 brush. It's just a flat definer brush, which I haven't got one of these yet and I needed one, so I just picked up one of them. And I also picked this pencil brush up. It's the Morphe MV27 and I do already have a pencil brush from Morphe but this one the bristles feel a lot more stiffer and a bit more dense so I think this one will work a little bit more better if I want a bit more detailing and a little bit more defining this one will be really nice so yeah I picked up that one as well. The next thing that I picked up was this LA Girl Pro Concealer. And the shade that I picked up was Beautiful Bronze because I've seen a lot of people doing their contouring with this and it looks really nice so I thought I'd maybe try that out. The last thing that I picked up from Beauty Bay was the Gerard Cosmetic Slay All Day Setting Spray and again I've seen this all over YouTube and of course I've had to get it so I picked up the Grapefruit one, see how it smells. Oh, that smells really nice. And I picked up the mini one, but I didn't think it would be this small. Again, I didn't read the description, but there wasn't that much difference in price between this one and the full-sized one, so I'll definitely get the full size if I like this one. Finally, moving on to the last place that I bought from, which is Feel Unique. And the first thing that I got was some eyelash curlers. Finally, I've been needing to get eyelash curlers for so long now. I picked up these ones from the Vintage Cosmetics Company. Let me say that again the Vintage Cosmetics Company and they're rose gold ones and they're really really pretty so I'm really excited about them and their packaging is always really really nice as well so yeah I actually did need them ones. <laughs> I've been looking for a white gel liner for so long now and I can't find anywhere that does one. I know that Kylie Cosmetics has got one but I don't want to pay the shipping and everything just for an eyeliner so I found this liquid one from NYX and it's white it's in the shade white and I'm a bit fussy when it comes to liquid liners and I've not got this out the packet yet so I'll see how I get along with it. At least I found a white eyeliner now. Next I picked up this nail polish from Maybelline and it's in the shade Blush Berry. I don't really have that many wintry nail polishes because I'm not really a nails person so I just wanted one that'll take me all through winter and this is really really pretty. I wanted something a little bit more on the mauve tone, which is my favourite colour over the winter time. So I picked up this one, it's really, really nice. I've got it on my nails right now, even though they're not looking amazing at the moment, but it's really, really nice and I loved how it applied. And it seems to be quite nice and hard wearing as well. Next, I picked up this face mask from Vichy. I've got a lot of face masks which are sort of exfoliating and like detox the skin but I haven't got any masks which are nice and hydrating which is definitely what I need having dry skin and over the winter it's awful and I really like the Vichy makeup I've not tried their skincare yet so I'll see how I get along with this and I've never heard of this before I just came across it as I was searching on the website so I'm really excited to using this I'll probably use this tonight and then I'll let you know how I get along on my snapchat or something but this is what it looks like out of the packaging I was just intrigued to see what it smelled like oh it smells really nice and fresh it's the consistency is like a gel so hopefully it'll be nice and hydrating I'm looking forward to using this and then finally the last things that I picked up was some new skincare and I picked up these two from L'Oreal. This is the Skin Perfection Correcting Day Moisturiser and then the Skin Perfection 
correcting concentrated serum and I've gone through so so many bottles of these it's unreal but over the summer I bought one from Kales because I needed a new skincare decided to go for something different so I've been using that since which I do really really like but these I actually notice a difference in my skin and I really really love using them so I still use the Kales cream but these two are just my absolute favourites so I had to get these two again and then very very finally something that I didn't buy but it was a free gift from Feel Unique which was really really nice and it was this diary for 2017 and it's just really really pretty inside it's got some nice pictures and it's also got some stickers in as well which is lovely and I think I'm going to use this as my blogging and YouTube diary for 2017 so I'm really really happy that they gave us this as well. So finally that's everything that I bought on Black Friday. It's quite a big makeup haul, I didn't realise how big it was until I got it out of the box. But I'm so excited to start using everything and I'll keep you updated and I'm sure that you'll see me start using them all in tutorials as well. So if that completes today's video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye!